Today's not gonna be easy, but it's pretty simple. We're gonna add the skid plate, mount the grab bar, mount the front bumper. We're gonna get to the plastics in the next video, I promise you that, but we are gonna be changing these tires out. Old tires, those are spider tracks. Those are the OGs from 1987. These are probably gonna be a major pain in the ass to change. Here we are, brand new ones, Sun Fs. Got them right off eBay, six ply. Nice, good, soft rubber. Yet we should have that puncture resistance from the six ply. These are 21 by sevens. And here we are with the rears, same thing, six ply. These are 20s by 11. Mm, yeah, 20 by 11. So now you see what we're gonna be working on today. It is very hot out today, middle of summer, I'm cooking, and I'm ready to get my butt kicked by these tires. Let's get into it. Tires are done. That was not an easy task at all. I really had to take it to some measures uh, that I didn't want to do. I don't like using my truck like that because it could damage the wheel, it could damage my truck, which I did scratch my freaking rim a little bit. Not too happy about that. Unfortunately, I just kind of had to do what I had to do. I really didn't want to pay a shop to dismount these tires. I didn't feel that was worth it. I am gonna kind of look into maybe a better bead breaker. There's a few of them out there. Um, we'll see in the future, we'll see. I wanna find something that's actually gonna work on a tire that is say 30, 35 years old on the bead. Uh, Cause that was the biggest problem. I couldn't get enough weight to get this to pop. Even my truck was having problems popping it. I really had to kind of run it over a little bit. But seems like no damage, seems like everything's good. Uh, I am proud to say that I did beat it. I did win. And, you know, this, these bikes, they won't beat us. They will not beat us. No way. Even if I'm out there in the heat and uh, kind of drowning in my own sweat. But it's okay. We get it done. So right now, we're going to jump into some of the smaller things. I want to get all them wrapped up before we jump into the last part with the plastics. I really appreciate you watching so far. If you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, please. And definitely subscribe. 
Let's grow this channel. I can't do it without you. I'm going to keep trying to produce better and better videos. I'm trying different things. Got a little bit of better equipment now. And let's see if it, uh, see what we could do here. We got to do it together. All right, let's keep jumping forward here. And changing out some more of these parts. I just wanted to show you in its rough form the headlight modifications I was doing. So here's the new headlight. Here's the mount that it comes with. I'm going to trim this a little bit down the bottom so this way when you turn the handlebars it makes no contact with any of the bodywork. You have plenty of room with that. I took the old housing mounting bracket. That's this right here. I'm going to trim it up a little bit more, clean it up. But the reason I want to keep this is because I want to use the top of the housing to keep the key in the stock location and then I just relocated the reverse indicator light. video right there wanted to keep this one short and sweet kind of just covering some of the little odd end things to get done on the next video we're going to tackle the plastics with plastic welding wet sanding probably a little bit of polishing we'll see we're just going to roll with it change out the seat cover and then finally add some fresh decals she should be looking pretty good then and then we can get her out on the trail really appreciate you watching please tune in on the next one and hey man, like and subscribe, let's grow this. I'll see you in the next one.